Hello, Altoona fifth graders. It's Mrs. Villano from Pleasant Valley Elementary. I hope all of you are practicing your social distancing and staying healthy and safe. Please watch the next math video and keep up the great work on all your math assignments. Have a great day. Brooklyn purchased three pounds of pasta and 12 ounces of cheese to make macaroni and cheese. What is the total weight in ounces, total weight in ounces of the pasta and cheese combined? So they give us the weight of the pasta in pounds and they give us the weight of the cheese in ounces. And we want to add the total weight, but they have to all be in ounces. So let's first Let's first convert these three pounds of pasta into a certain amount of ounces of, ounce, uh, of pasta. So we already know that one pound is equal to 16 ounces. They tell us that. So what would three pounds be? So if I had three pounds, how many ounces would that be? And I encourage you to pause the video and think about it. Well, let's see, if you're having three times the pounds, you're also going to have three times the ounces. So if one pound is 16 ounces, if you have three times as many pounds, you're going to have three times as many ounces. So 16 times three is 48, 48 ounces. So Brooklyn, the three pounds of pasta that she purchased, that can also be viewed as 48 ounces, 48 ounces of pasta. So she has 48 ounces of pasta and 12 ounces of cheese. So what is the total weight in ounces of them combined? Well, it's going to be 48 ounces, 48 ounces, plus the 12 ounces of cheese. 48 ounces of pasta plus 12 ounces of cheese give us a total of 60 ounces of pasta and cheese combined. Let's do another example with other units. So we are told David is making a wall out of bricks. Each brick is two-thirds of a foot long. Each brick is two-thirds of a foot long. There are 20 bricks lined up end-to-end -to, -end to make the wall. What is the total length of the wall in inches? We've got to keep, pay attention to the units. So they give us the length of each brick in feet. So we know that each brick here, let me draw a brick, the length here is two-thirds of a foot. Two-thirds of a foot. So what would this length be in inches? Well, once again, we can look at the conversion between foot and inches. If I go from one foot to two-thirds of a foot, well, I've multiplied by two-thirds. So if one foot is 12 inches, and if I want to know how many inches two-thirds inches, or two-thirds of a foot is in inches, well, I would multiply by two-thirds again. In either case, you could view this as multiplying both sides of this conversion by two-thirds. And so two-thirds of a foot is going to be two-thirds times 12 inches. And so 12 times 2 over 3, that would be 24 over 3. So this is going to be equal to 24 over 3 inches. I'll just write IN for short right over here. 24 over 3, which is equal to 8 inches. So each brick is either, you could either view it as 2 thirds of a foot long, or you could view it as 8 inches. 8 inches long. And there are 20 bricks lined up end to end to make the wall. So what is the total length of the wall in inches? Well, it's going to be 8 brick, each brick is 8 inches times 20. Times 20. And 8 times 2 is 16, so 8 times 20 is 160. Hi, I'm Mr. Little from McAuliffe Heights. I hope that you enjoyed the video and that it was helpful and that you are all safe and healthy. See ya.